This bizarre capsule is a bicycle, and it could be the fastest in history, reaching 90 mph by pedal power alone. It's 40 times more aerodynamic than a Bugatti Veyron, has a top speed of 90 mph, 145 kph, and generates enough power to light the average home. And while it might not look anything like it, this strange design is in fact a pedal-powered bike enclosed in an aerodynamic carbon fiber shell. Dubbed the ARION-1 Velocipede, the bike is being designed by a team of UK engineering students who believe it will become the fastest human-powered vehicle in history. The University of Liverpool Velocipede team, ULVT, are hoping their design will break the 83.13 mph, 133.7 per hour record set in September 2013 by Tuesday Delft and VU Amsterdam Universities. ARION-1 will be designed, manufactured and ready to race by May 2015, and will attempt the record in September 2015 at the World Human Power Speed Challenge in Battle Mountain, Nevada. This is no ordinary bicycle you would see cycling up and down the high street, team leader Ben Hogan, 22, told Mail Online. The rider is positioned almost lying down, as close to the ground as possible. This style of cycling is known as recumbent cycling. The whole bicycle is enclosed in a lightweight carbon fiber shell, giving the vehicle a streamlined shape which allows it to cut through the air more easily. The unusual shape of the Ariane 1S exterior shell improves the aerodynamic behavior of the vehicle as air resistance is the biggest challenge to maintaining speed. The design uses the same concept as aircraft wings adopting an inverted teardrop shape to cut through the air as easily as possible. The frontal area of the vehicle is as, as small as possible, seating the rider in AL position as low to the ground as possible ensures that air resistance is further minimized, said Mr. Hogan. The rider will be just 5 inches, 13 centimeters, from the floor and will need to generate over 700 watts of pure human power to get to top speed. ARION-1 emits zero carbon emissions, weighs less than 5.5 lbs, 25 kg, is 98.4% efficient and will travel at almost double the current sprint cycling record. Philippa Oldham, head of transport at the Institution of Mechanical Engineers, said, to get to the speeds they intend to, the team will have to make sure everything is perfect, from the vehicle's aerodynamics to the size of its wheels. It's an extremely tough ask to get a human-powered vehicle to travel at 90 mph, 144 kph, and a leap into the unknown but with the right engineering approach it is possible. The bike also needs to house a rider, a frame and a transmission system powerful enough to allow the vehicle to reach the tremendous speeds required to clinch the world record. The project is no simple undertaking, but at this stage, after just six months on the project, we are in a great position said Mr. Hogan.